my family has been in Tijuana for a long time. So, you know, we, we have more of like a border culture than a Mexican culture. And so I ended up spending some time traveling through Mexico and eventually ended up um, in Chiapas and um, learning backstrap weaving uh, from Mayan women and collaborating with them on different projects. And so just that idea that, you know, I could think about not just taking whatever techniques they taught me at school or like techniques that I learned and, and not question their origin or where, you know, this technology comes from, um, started to kind of like seep into my brain. Why, why don't we like use more pre-Columbian techniques in the way that we work? And so I started to think about um, spaces differently and I started to think about techniques differently. And I started to think about um, the possibility of expanding like the notion of what a tool can be and how one can work. And so all I took with me to Pilchuck was a sketchbook and pieces of the border fence. Every time I go home to visit my family because my family's still in Tijuana, um, I go to the border fence. So this is what the fence looks like now, um, the leftmost picture. Um, it's a place where a lot of people do murals, a lot of people leave messages. This is where the fence cuts into the ocean. And so because the fence is made out of steel and the ocean is salt, then it corrodes the fence. So the fence is constantly falling apart um, and turning into like phyllo dough. So then all I have to do is just use my hands um, and just pull at it and it just falls apart. The other artists in residence uh, next to me at Pilchuck happened to be um, a VR person. So then I started thinking about, oh, like what is my reality? And oh, my reality is the reality of carrying, you know, the scar of this fence with me at all times. 